All right, welcome to Arton Empire. Still your Gitan boy, Prince P. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching me from. And this is another episode of the Hajis. I know how we do right here. We dissect, we intercept, and we deliberate on trending issues, trending topics, controversies, and we give you factual analysis on politics, entertainment, showbiz updates, and things happening around you. And today, just we have a lot of shenanigans, penanigans, and renanigans unfolding. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't wait to dive into the matters of the Matthias. Today we'll be talking about matters arising in Ghana, Nigeria, and also in the U.S. We'll be talking about Rihanna. A man has been arrested in the U.S. for proposing to Rihanna. I'll be giving you all the intels and all the inquiries. And also we'll be talking about Ghana versus Angola, Pito Bimike, Tinibu, Justice of Peace in Nigeria. Ladies and gentlemen, white money has clashed online. With Victoria, I'll be giving you all the intels and all the includes. Just stay tuned, stay glued. But please, before we dodge in, subscribe. Subscribe, click the notification button, and don't forget, like, comment, share with your friends so that you can stay updated anytime, any day I upload. And always remember, this is the only channel that delivers the gist. Very hot and spicy. Just stay tuned, guys. All right, quickly, Shapali, let's dive into matters arising in the day. Let's talk about matters arising in the camp of Nigerian politics and INEC. Quickly, I want to use this opportunity to say Happy Ramadan, Karen, to my Muslim brothers and sisters. I pray that this Ramadan season brings unity, peace, and prosperity to everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, quickly, Shapali, let's talk about Nigerian politics and INEC. Now, a Nigerian businessman has decided to reward an INEC official for not rigging an election in Abia State. You get where they go? Abia State's election was free and fair. There was no malpractices, there was no compromising, and there was no rigging. In Nenna, INEC official decided to do the right thing by not being compromised. And she refused to rig the election. And ladies and gentlemen, the rightful person won the election. Ladies and gentlemen, let me play you that clip of how Abia State residents, that we are so happy to be letting. See, eh, when the right person win, nobody, nobody, you don't need a seer to tell you that this is people's choice. There will be jubilations everywhere. People go the merimento. Let me play you that clip, then we can come back and cover it. Me and no are just the carry the talk. Oh yeah, run! This is how elections should be. This is a clear example of free and fair election. Clear indication that there was no rigging. Because at the end, people's choice won. And see, at this point, you don't need any seer or any handwriting on the wall to tell you that Abia State election was not rigged. It was free and fair because when person win, when people's choice win, you will see that the whole town will be jubilating. People will be galabanting and merimentos because people's choice won. It be simple. If people truly vote for you, when you win, they will jubilate. Nobody will vote for you and go inside to mourn. There is a clear example that people voted for this person and their vote was counted. That was why Abia State election was free and fair. 
you know, be waiting the indoors for this presidential election. I neck, I neck bamboozled us. What we ordered versus what we got. The more we look, the less we see. That is exactly what I neck did. Tinibu won a company like say the whole Nigeria the more. I never seen Nigeria so quiet like that in a long period. The company like said would even live for cemetery. Nigeria was so quiet, nobody was jubilating. Clear indication that people are not happy. This is not who we voted for. The election was bamboozled, the election was bamboozled and rigged. You see, at their state, people were rejoicing. That is to show you that this is people's choice. Again, where they go. Now, the INEC representative in Abia State, after the election, Abia State people started dashing her things, started gifting her so many things for her integrity and for her honesty. This woman refused to be compromised. This woman refused to rig the election. This woman refused and she did the right thing by, by giving the people who they voted for. As I'm talking to you right now, a businessman in Abia State has gifted her with Prado. Prado, Tier Robert Prado. You see, anybody with her, you say integrity doesn't pay. Corruption pays more. Buy that person for a year and distance yourself from the person. The only thing we would ask for in this country is be good governance. We are not asking too much. All we need is somebody who will give us good governance, good, good system. System with the work. That is what we are asking for. And that's why we keep on looking for someone that is competent to vote for. That is it. Let's talk about matters arising in the camp of Ghana football. Honestly speaking, yesterday match, I was shocked, I lies. I was bamboozled because this is not what I anticipated. You know, what would they think of? See squad, we will get for Black Star. And the kind of thing we then delivered, I was shocked, I lies. Yo, bro, that match was so boring. Angola can't they play Black Star like say the day in the same equation. Hello? We were so shocked, allies. This is not what we like. We anticipated that the kind of squad we did for this team, we were supposed to beat Angola hands down. But Angola, they were they were able to tie us down till the last minute. If not for that miraculous goal that we didn't expect, we don't already give up that it will be now, now, now. But that last minute goal gave us another hope. And please, blasters, they need to do better. They need to do better because if this is the whole tactics or the whole system where they will carry go this African cup, then I'm sorry. Then I'm sorry because I'm disappointed. They need to do better. In their return match, they need to show us that they are capable of delivering. Because if they go and go like go play this thing with them play for Babayara Stadium, I'm sorry, they are going to lose woefully. Ladies and gentlemen, still on matters for Matthias. Now, quickly, Shapale, let's talk about UK government. UK government, they have come out to promise Nigerians that we should take a chill pill, that they are investigating and they are collecting names of politicians that instigated um, election violence during the election period. So when they came out and they made that statement, Socialites, based on social media, they started coercating and they started deliberating about it. All the time, what you would hear now, sanction this, sanction that, this, 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 that. Nothing. That is the only thing that we, we keep on hearing. Sanction, sanction. And some Nigerians, they are also stating the fact that actually UK government contributed 80% of what is happening in Nigeria. But honestly speaking, I don't want to believe that ideology or that buha. 
But to be sincere, make could they talk the truth. Sometimes I don't understand how UK government they do. I know they tear here because you guys know very well that this election was rigged. There was a lot of shenanigans, penanigans, and renanigans surrounding this election. And yet, on a game mind, congratulating him. You people congratulated him. And now, the same UK is coming out to tell us that they are going to sanction perpetrators. They are, come on, what is going on? Are you people playing with our intelligence or what? If truly UK government wants to do something or wants to solve this whole problem, let the perpetrators be brought to book. Oh, I know everything will happen for this election. Let the right thing be done. It's as simple as that. Quickly, Chapelle, let's talk about matters arising in the camp of Mwike and Pitobi. Ladies and gentlemen, be like say, guilty conscience is dealing with Mwike. Because this man still they come out, they tell us, say, you know, ask anybody not to vote for P2B. You know, ask anybody not to vote for Labour Party. He keep on telling us ever since that presidential election, this is what he keeps on coming out to say. That he never stopped anybody from voting P2B. P2B is his close friend. Blah, blah, blah. This, this, and that. But truth be told, we never ask anybody to vote for, not to vote for P2B. Yes, but you interfered during the election. There was evidence, clips, that shows that you interfered during the election. There was a lot of rigging. There was a lot of violence instigated during the election. And you were there. You were there. So your action speaks very loud than what you are saying. So please, ladies and gentlemen, let us tell Mike to own it. If you don't mess, own it that you don't mess up. That is simple. You don't do them. Own it. Say, yes, you did it. Beat your chest. Say you did it. No comma, they play some diplomatism. No comma, they play some diplomatism here. Please. So still on matters for Matthias. Now, quickly, Chapale, let's talk about EFCC. Ladies and gentlemen, EFCC don't come out, talk, say, they will start hunting down public officials that are corrupt. Ladies and gentlemen, let me read the report for you. May no bless I just the carry the talk. When I saw it, I was shocked alive. EFCC vows to hunt down corrupt public officials from May 29th. <laughs> super story. This is super story. <laughs> so, now, now where EFCC no say, our public officials, they are corrupt. <laughs> Clearly, these people, they don't they carry us, they go where we don't know. It looks like pot calling kettle black. EFCC, now they want to start hunting down public officials. <laughs> Please, eh? firstly, let them start with themselves. Let them start with themselves. Because it's clear now that if you want to count system that is corrupt in Nigeria, EFCC will not be left out. It is clear which public official will you want to catch. Public officials that is holding you guys in your balls. Because they know that even you two, you are not, you are not an exception to corruption. So let's be sincere. All these things will be super story. You know, say if they did, they did, they did. They go come out to announce, make Nigerians know, say, they still day around. They, they are still active. They are still working. Far then, nothing is going to happen. <laughs> so quickly, Chapali, still on matters for Matthias. Let's talk about Tinibu and Chief Justice of Nigeria. 
Ladies and gentlemen, internet has been oozing and buzzing on social media because Chief Justice of Nigeria was spotted in a hotel, disgusted himself in a wheelchair just to go and meet Tinibu for a secret meeting. Ladies and gentlemen, we, we, <laughs> They never grind beans. You don't they smell. They never grind beans. Moi moi don't they smell. You don't they ooze and booze. How can which kind of what kind of meeting where they won't do secretly will go make them discuss himself like this in a wheelchair? Just to go and meet Tinibu. There is a lot to this, honestly speaking. There is a lot to this. What are they going to discuss? Now, so did they carry us, they go where we no know. Now, so did they carry us, they go where we no know. You see, Tinibu never enter. A lot of shenanigans, shenanigans, and shenanigans don't they happen. Hmm. Now, we know they live for Nigeria. We are living in a town hall, different from Baba Blue. Blue, blue, blaba. It is quite sad. And I weep in 3D. <laughs> These people, they go shocktalize us more. Let's wait and see. Still, on matters for matters, let's talk about Rihanna. Ladies and gentlemen, Rihanna has been trending because a man decided to break into her house just to propose to her. This man, get mind, entered Rihanna's house, broke into his house into her house, sorry, into her house just to propose to Rihanna that he, he wants to marry Rihanna. <laughs> it's kind of... <laughs> so he was arrested. You know, when I saw that report, something strike into my mind. You know, sometimes you, you, there, there are some men who be say, they will see a woman languishing Single, they will never have any interest on that lady. Immediately, they don't see say this lady now is now into a serious relationship. That is when they will realize that this lady is actually their missing ribs onto their bosom. We get some men like that. So, since all these years, you they see Rihanna. It never strike to you that Rihanna is that your missing rib. It never occurred to you that you need to go and propose to Rihanna. Now, where well, Rihanna don't deal with Asap Rocky. Asap Rocky don't give them one. They are expecting two very soon. You suddenly realize that you can take a bullet for Rihanna. You, to the extent of breaking into her house just to propose to her. Jamie! Some men, eh, I don't know what they worry them. You go see a woman, when she is single, it will never occur to you that this woman is your missing rib onto your bosom. Immediately, that woman don't get serious relationship. Now, you go find out, say, you can't live without that woman. That is exactly what happened between Rihanna and this, this senseless guy. Let him be there. He has been arrested. Good for him. Let him be there. Cool enough. Ladies and gentlemen, we are done. It's over. May we 